discharge of the Special Crimes Investigation Branch of South Australia Police. Um, a 42-year-old 40 man from Adelaide's western suburbs has been arrested by police today and charged with breaching the Evidence Act, unlawful use of the carriage service and an assault. The man was arrested following an investigation by officers from the Special Crimes Investigation Branch and the Sturt Criminal Investigation Branch. He was charged with one count of aggravated assault, one count of publishing the identity of a person charged with a sexual offence, two counts of using a carriage service to menace, harass or cause offence. That's a Commonwealth um, offence. He's been granted bail and is expected to appear in the Adelaide Magistrates Court on 14th February 2018. I'm, I'm still going. I'll, I've got more. Um, police would like to make a general comment with respect to members of the public seeking to undertake their own criminal investigations of any type. Police are bestowed leg legitimus, uh, sorry, legitimately and authority and direct powers through law to prevent and detect crime. It is our job. There are many reasons for this, including the complexities involved in being able to present a fair case in court where there is a natural justice and compliance with the rules of evidence. It is not appropriate for individuals to take matters into their own hands, no matter how well intentioned they may be. This, in fact, can significantly hinder and obstruct what police are empowered to do. There is a very real and genuine risk to both parties when someone chooses to take the law into their own hands, outside of the law accepted judicial process. We absolutely fully comprehend community concern about individuals who offend against children or in fact act in any criminal matter. Police actively target people who offend against children. We also openly encourage any person who has information regarding people who offend against children or who are suspected of any crime to report that to police or contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000 so police can follow up on this. Police will investigate people who break the law or act in ways that hinder and obstruct police from investigating crime. This type of behaviour is unacceptable and inappropriate. Now, for example, one of the addresses has been attacked over the last couple of days and the person, um, particular person, doesn't live there. Someone else lives there. So uh, in that um, particular case, you've got a risk to the safety of the person that actually lives there. It's a serious concern. The, the behaviour could also stimulate persons to offend against children as, as a result of the online engagement. When evidence exists, police will take appropriate action to investigate and lay criminal charges where appropriate. However, when evidence becomes legally tainted, it serves no value to the wider community. What Thank you. What exactly is it alleged that he did at a consensual charge in relation to so those four counts. One is an aggravated assault in terms of... I, I can't go into too much detail because um, the matters are before the court. So we've got one, one count of aggravated assault. So um, I don't know whether you've seen videos or, or not. Um, one count of publishing the identity of a person charged with a sexual offence and two counts of using carriage service to menace, harass or cause offence. So, you know, if you're uploading to social media. Quite an elderly person. Right. Will you still pursue the people uh, that this man alleges were going to meet, thinking they're going to meet underage people? Yes. Yeah, so each what what will happen is that each thing is investigated um, individually. So his actions are investigated. The people that he has had contact with, those particular um, uh, instances are. Are investigated, so so they're ongoing um, at the moment. So is this man's activity is good. Say, oh, um, you've come out. One time, please. Then you've come out and charged him before you've charged the alleged pedophiles. Is that is that something you're concerned about? I mean, it seems that from an outsider's perspective, he's been charged. The investigations happen quicker than these alleged child sex predators. Well, when you have someone that's um, taking certain action against other people there's an evidence component that has to be uh, associated to that. 
So there is evidence that needs to be retrieved in relation to the actions of the other people. So, um, and his actions are um, investigated completely separately. So they're, they're, they're separate matters. They need to be investigated separately. Do you believe that the man worked alone or are you investigating whether anyone else um, you know, assisted him in contacting these people or videoing the encounters, for example? have no information at hand to suggest that, but if anyone has information in relation to that, um, we'll, we'll, we'll welcome that. What kind of accounts are you facing and is this like what, what he was doing, is it quite unusual? Sorry? What, what kind of a penalty? A penalty? Yeah. I understand that the Commonwealth offences are three years. I don't have the penalty in relation to the other offences. And is it quite unusual, the circumstance? Quite unusual? Yeah. Um, I, I guess in this type of case where you have someone um, trying to do some online covert work um, uh, and catch um, people is unusual um, for us. You went to great lengths to sort of subtly lure this person, these people online, and then actually physically go out and meet them. What sort of risk is he taking to his own safety? Because anything could have happened. Anything could happen to this uh, absolutely. So there's, um, you don't know what's going to happen in these sorts of circumstances. He doesn't know who he's going to uh, meet in these circumstances. So um, uh, it, it could be someone that's uh, a violent person, a lot bigger than him, uh, may um, attack him. Or um, we've, we've had o overseas in other jurisdictions, there has been um, uh, examples of that happening. You also said that he said it was so easy for him to create this fake profile, go online, and then in a matter of an hour, speaking to five or six alleged pedophiles and he said that's the reason he chose to do this because in his words the police weren't doing their job. How do you respond to that? Yeah. Can I just say that back in January 2015 we um, uh, in the Special Crimes Investigation Branch we put together the Joint Anti-Child Exploitation Team which is a team of AFP and SAPOL members that work out of, out of that branch. Um, since that time we've had uh, 72 covert online investigations um, uh, 14 apprehensions, uh, six of which have been convicted and there's eight before the court currently. So we are actively working in that space and have been um, since uh, January 2015. We're not alone, other jurisdictions also w work in that space as well. So what's your message to people like this gentleman who think that they could you know, go and take the law into their own hands? Pass any information you have to police. Don't take this on board yourself. Um, don't make contact with a view of doing a citizen's arrest or anything like that. It, it's very risky. Um, it, it's risky to both parties. Um, what, was his reaction? Reaction? what was his reaction when you were arrested? I wasn't there. So. In, in terms of what you commented on about someone undertaking this kind of practice and how it could influence, I guess, an investigation and evidence <coughs> before the court, how significant is that considering what he was trying to achieve was supposedly to help alleged victims and that he could have actually Well, the court may find that what he did makes the, any evidence inadmissible, um, whereas um, we act under specific legislation, legislative boundaries um, in the online covert environment to ensure that legislation um, or any evidence is admissible. And um, it takes a, a, a fair bit of work to, to do that. So, you know, just by going on any site and um, meeting <coughs> someone um, using an assumed identity um, might make that inadmissible. Are you aware of an incident last week where uh, the gentleman said that he had a similar operation, uh, I believe it was at Marion, uh, where he was shot, called the police, he claimed six police surrounded him while the alleged pedophile was at the other end of the shop and he walked away. Was he more of a priority than the alleged I'm aware that there was a, an incident that occurred at Marion. I don't know the details. I know police were called to attend, the police attended, and um, um, I, I don't think any meeting took place. Now, what he's alleging and what actually occurred, I, I'm, I don't know because I wasn't there, mm. but, but uh, he didn't meet the person I think he was hoping to meet. On um, your comments about how rare this is, um, I know that you only work for a particular branch, but how uh, often has SAPOL seen this type of behaviour in terms of Trying to catch, you know, catch any offender online, and you know, this kind of vigilante. Look, 
making, SAPOL get a lot of calls through Crime Stoppers, uh, which is a very uh, successful way to actually pass information on. So in terms of um, this type of work, when you're talking about uh, undertaking a, um, you know, a vigilante type um, crusade of um, going online, pretending to be someone else, so that you can catch a, um, a, a pedophile, um, yeah, that, that is rare because people don't particularly want to do that. Uh, and if they do want to do that, they should leave it to police to do it. Because we are in that space. So the fact that it charges and the fact that we're in a press conference right now, is this essentially also a bit of a warning shot to, to other people who might be like-minded to try similar things? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, the whole idea behind this is to actually advise the community that if they do have any um, information or concerns about people, to let us know and, and we will act on it. So you have been attacked. Are you able to elaborate on that? What had actually involved and whether you arrested anyone? Um, no arrests as far as I'm aware, but uh, I believe there's been egging, graffiti, um, feces, um, that sort of thing. Um, and the person concerned doesn't live there anymore. Who's house well, I can't tell you whose house it was. Sorry? What? A house that he attended and identified. Okay, thanks, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, Tim. Thank you.